संक्रमण म्हणजे मंथली संक्रमण आणि एक गुप्त संक्रमण वृत्त संक्रमण दोन आहे
I have no words to say. To see Sahaja Yogis coming from all over the world, all over the country, to celebrate this special occasion. It's so auspicious today that you all should be here <coughs> because you are the chosen ones, the soldiers who are going to fight till Satya Yuga is established on this earth. is the day of revolution. Sun Krant means, Sun means, you know, auspicious. Krant means revolution. Today is the day of holy revolution. I have told you about the rebellion, that in rebellion we move in a pendulum from one to another end. As a result of inertia, but through the ascent when we achieve a higher state it's only possible when there is a revolution and revolution takes spirally. The movement has to be spiral to land up at a higher position. So this is the revolution which is the holy revolution. We have known of many revolutions so far. We have had revolutions in our country. In other Western countries also we have had revolution. On the political grounds, on the grounds of disparities, many other things have been fought through revolution. But still the ascent has not been achieved within. I am talking about the revolution within ourselves. In this revolution you are very much helped by your own mother, the Kundal. And you revolve in a very sweet manner, in a spiral ascent to land up as we realize <coughs> You have been very kind to come to this country because this country does not have the comforts and the facilities you have in your own country. So one has to be prepared for the roughing out, which may be difficult for some people to do so. I had to buy a present for some gentleman when I came to Bombay and I thought, what should I buy? I better go and buy some ivory piece for him. <coughs> so I went to the shop and I got a beautiful ivory piece called Hito Padesh, where Sri Krishna is sitting on a beautiful chariot of ivory and giving the Hito Padesh the <coughs> sermon of Gita. So hard. It was very easy to buy. It took only half an hour for me to go and buy the thing. But to buy the wrapping paper, I had to waste two hours in Bombay. <coughs> because you can't get a sensible wrapping paper here. And then the ribbon and then the flowers is an impossible situation. So I didn't know what to do. I got absolutely, according to my husband, a third class wrapping paper brought it back home. He said, you can't wrap with this nonsense. It looks so horrid. I said, now, if you want, I can get silk to wrap it in this country. But the wrapping paper is a problem. So when the gentleman was presented, I told him very frankly, I'm sorry, in Bombay I couldn't get a good wrapping paper. But I really have got for you. And he was so enamored by the present. So in this country, you have to see that we can get ivory, but we cannot get wrapping paper. And those who are used to wrapping paper find it difficult to adjust 
because we are used to convenience of wrapping paper. So one has to realize that the wrapping paper of which we are so much fond of or we are used to is of no importance. While you cannot get ivory in the Western country, if you have to get a ivory piece, I don't know, you'll have to move for years together to an ivory piece. But a wrapping paper, you can get it in five minutes. So one has to realize this is a country, if you have to know about it, you have to go deep down into it. You have to develop a deeper understanding of this country. If you see the bathrooms and if you see the roofs, if you see the houses, all black, dark, dirty, according to all the, all the common standards of life, forget it. Forget it. You have not come here to see this. That all you can see in your own country. And you have seen it. But what you have come to see here is the depth, the love, the affection, the human being. And you'll be very happy because you'll find very rare experiences which will really enthrall you with joyous memories for all your life. Also, this country, especially Maharashtra, is a special country because the Kundalini of the universe resides in this triangular plane, or we can say this is the Vathar, the triangular raised platform. And hence the vibrations in this country, this part of the country, are very great. Now to come to for Mahayoga, as the Sahaja Yoga today has become Maha Yoga, we have to come to Maharashtra. Maharashtra is the great nation. So I'm sure you are expecting a lot of things to happen to you. But keep your minds open because it's a revolution. It's not just a pendulum that from comfort you are coming to discomfort. One thing you have to realize it has nothing to do like an anti-culture stuff. You have come here to jump into your subtler and subtler sensitivities. So the grosser sensi sensitivities must be neglected and negated so that you can feel your subtler sensitivities. Once you start understanding this basic principle of enjoying it, I'm sure the whole venture will be extremely fruitful. Because all over the world we realize that Sahaja Yoga is the only way for human emancipation. It's the only way we are going to transform this world into a beautiful place. For that, we have to get into a proper understanding, geared up, absolutely like soldiers, into a disciplined life. So that whatever we want to do, we can do in our optimum capacities. So to allow your full capacities to manifest, try to negate, to overlook your gross sensitivities which have come in between. You have to cut it short sometimes. You'll have to get up early in the morning, you'll have to bathe in a funny way, and it will be a difficult thing. But if you try to adjust <coughs> with this noble idea that 
you are a part and parcel of the great Virat and that you all have to join together in such a way that in your sensitivity you become equally the same, that you understand each other very well. I'm sure you will enjoy the love and hospitality of your host here. This revolution starts on such a day today, I'm very happy. So we have to have the revolution acceptable to us. You know when French Revolution took place, how people lived? When in this country people fought for their freedom, how they lived? I know my father sacrificed every single farthing he had. He, we had to live in huts while we lived in very great comforts ourselves. He sacrificed everything. My mother went to jail five times. My father went to jail three times. And every time he was in the jail for not less than two to three years. So you can imagine with so many children how they sacrificed everything that they have to achieve this freedom. Now if you have to achieve a freedom of the spirit, we must have the sense of sacrifice. But it doesn't mean sacrifice with complaint but sacrifice that can be enjoyed. Sacrifice of which you have to be proud. Sacrifice that you don't feel. Sacrifice that ennobles. That is the spirit with which this revolution has to take place. So far, if you know, we have not sacrificed anything. Of course, ego and all these nonsensical things you have sacrificed. No doubt. But that you never wanted in any way, none of you liked that ego. Even Indians had to sacrifice a lot. They have given up many habits which are very deterrent or injurious to healthy growth of this nation. As Sir Yogis, they have also come up so high. They have become very honest, extremely sweet and hospitable people. In the same way, I would say that my children abroad have really done marvelous feats to give up some things which I thought would be difficult for them. They have changed their moral values, they have accepted a very strict moral code and they enjoy that morality and that virtue. I don't know how to congratulate you for this. You may say, Mother, your love has done it, but I just don't know. I think it's your own capacities, your Purva Janmas, Sanchitas, whatever you have earned in your previous lives has done all this. Otherwise, it is impossible even to change one person. All this change has come for the good, for the enjoyment and happiness. You don't have to change much more. You don't have to change. But now you have to enjoy the change. And the enjoyment of the change comes when all the tax that you have from India, from East or from West, are pulling you down. Just throw them away and come. All of you together should enjoy, together the joy and the bliss of your Father. So today is a great day.